All right, everyone. Sebastian here, back for another round of Rogue Tech's Road to Atlas. Uh, last time we left off looking at the star map, seeing uh, where's a potential place we can go. And so far, I'm not noticing a whole lot of uh, enemy ships in the zone. Or if there are, I'm not sure where they should be. Uh, that is to say, other mercenary companies. Maybe these uh, gray dots. But no, abandoned worlds. These are abandoned. So, I guess we're not going to go to any abandoned territory. Potentially, there's no reason to do so. Uh, we're unlikely to find anything. It's a poor primitive civilization. Um, if there are people in these uh, abandoned worlds, I don't expect them to have very mi many missions for us. That said, let's... Uh, Pick a destination for where we can go next. And I think we might want to go to Minderu, as it's called. It's a lunar-type world that somehow has a planet-wide forest. I'm not entirely sure how that is the case, but okay. We'll, uh, we'll take it at its word. So it's going to take us nine days to travel there. Fairly normal uh, challenge rating. 25,000 sea bill cost. Let's get started. Ha. Huh. So, as we can see there, the map, the persistent map, is unable to be downloaded. No clue why. It just happens from time to time. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. And we have another financial report waiting on our doorstep. Um, we're going to keep the uh, standard uh, expenditure... We're going to stick with the expenditures um, at the normal rate. We don't want to be losing uh, any of our tech bonuses, especially what with the hunchback uh, in uh, the repair bay for so long. And here we are. Some... Gray space rock. We've just completed those upgrades. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Good. We have arrived. Let's check out a bunch of cataphract chassis. Some enforcer chassis. Um fleas we're not interested in. Nor are we interested in Yagermax. We don't have the money. Oh, look. More javelins. Quick draws and some wolverine parts. Okay. Medium extended range pulse laser. Costs a million and a half. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll avoid that for now. A bunch of tagging systems. Any... Any interesting equipment? PPC capacitator. Some weapon mounts. Huh. Very interesting. These might be something to look into. Heck, I will, uh... I'll buy two of them, New just to have them on hand, if anything. Now that we've arrived, let's take a look at the contract screen. All right, a bunch of, uh, well, 
low difficulty missions. And one One Skull mission, which is a battle on Martian terrain, so not full lunar. We are going to be going up against a lot of clan mechs, and I don't know if I want to do that. Because clan mechs are uh, qualitatively superior to a lot of the standard um, stuff you can get your hands on. The Wasp being among them, but the Wasp is among the lightest things that they're actually fielding, so we'll avoid that. And given our financial situation, much as I would like to um, take salvage, I think this time around I'm going to be favoring credit somewhat while also taking a tiny bit of salvage. Same roster as always. Let's drop in. All right, so one of the uh, interesting things about uh, lunar and Martian planets is that uh, your heat dissipation is lessened as a result of the thinner atmospheres, or lack thereof, on the lunar worlds. So, it seems uh, I wasn't doing my reading well enough, and we are attacking a clan... Uh, base that is guarded by turrets. Well, this is scenic. Now, Standing by. on this map template, I think our best course of action is to get ourselves into these hills in order to um, basically be out of range of the turrets. Or actually, no, first. Ready. Let's uh, move forward with Fang, see if you can scout out anything. Okay, so far no enemy presence. Yeah. What can I do you for? So we may only be dealing with the base hey, defense turrets can... and a reinforcing lance. Okay. Yeah. This may be promising. So the change of plans is such that we're moving into this part of the low ground here, and we are going to deal with the turrets one by one. Once we capture the enemy base, uh, reinforcements are going to have to be a thing. Now, uh, Fang, you're moving first because uh, we can get you safe. And there's the facility. Okay. We are unfortunately in visual range of one of the turrets. So we're going to have to do something about that. Or pray that Fang does not get hit. What turret is this? Four medium lasers. I uh, will choose to have faith in Fang. All right. Okay, it uh, it didn't bother to do anything. So. We're going to hide Fang properly this time. Position confirmed. And reserve with everyone. Do it again. And the Turks have wasted their movement. Good to go. It's a bit cheesy, but I don't fancy dealing with uh, base defense turrets if I don't have to. So let's deal with uh, that one first. Medusa, you'll uh, retask onto that one. 
locking in all weapon systems. Okay, despite having pretty good hit chances, uh, well, we're still bricking it, but that's fine. And let's just deal with it one by one. Take it down. I mean, don't fire into the stratosphere, though. That would be nice. Okay. Uh, Medusa? I feel you're able to deal with that. Very good. One turret less. And we'll move you back into safety. Location confirmed. Me, I can get some extended range laser shots off. Or at least one of them. And move into cover again. And Blorks. Well, we're not going to risk a shutdown on his part. Ah, maybe we should have. Oh well. You two are going to go get safe. And Fang will reserve you. Will reserve you. And we'll actually move you up now that the other turrets have made their moves. Or wasted their moves, so to speak. And we'll take down the first available turret. And enemy reinforcements are already starting to move in. Okay. I haven't even started to capture the base yet, and they're already moving in. This is, uh... Troublesome, to say the least. Okay. How do we want to deal with this? Well, given that you have shots, Fang take them. And we'll move you up here in order to scout. What are we dealing with? Okay, it's not showing us. Okay, can we maybe get a kill. Move over to here. See what you can do. Oh, right. I should have been uh, reserving action until later. Uh, unfortunately, we are already somewhat committed to trying to take that thing down. Engaging target. Okay, thank God. We managed it. That turret is gone. And we'll reserve Medusa. We'll reserve again. Reserve. And we'll actually charge you into the cap circle and just get the base capped. No reason to waste movement. Okay. Enemy mechs are moving in our direction, that is to say, fangs. We'll reserve. We'll continue reserving. Roger that. I sincerely doubt that they actually What's up, didn't bother taking the opportunity to shoot at us, but, or, you know, that they didn't move. But no matter. Move forward. My Give Glorks vigilance. And risk a shutdown. Okay, very good. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. It is a missile turret, so I want to have that thing out of commission, although it doesn't do indirect fire, but still. Yes, Every gun we can remove from the combat Roger. is a good thing for us. Okay, very nice. 
one left. No damage taken. Um, he speaks too soon. Large pulse laser manages to get a shot in. I'm under heavy fire. And Fang nearly loses an arm as a result, although, you know, Fang losing arms isn't the worst thing for us, because he doesn't actually have anything installed on those arms. Ready for orders. Now. Do I want to be putting up with clan mechs? This is our question that we have to answer. Okay. More minor damage coming in. Standing by. Well, for now, let's just move you out of the line of fire and see what the enemy decides to do. Lorks, you are running as fast and as far away as you can. As a matter of fact, screw it, you're jumping behind this uh, little wall here. Okay. Yep. Enemies are moving towards me and Fang. Let's rotate to uh, counter that. Okay. Cough still has yet to go away, but at least we're action capable. And let's reserve. Okay. Reserve again in case the enemy vehicle hasn't moved. And given that all of the enemy mechs have moved, it might be worthwhile to, uh... Just ignore that, I guess. Let's just fall back a bit further. Bang, same thing to you. Should be covered by terrain there. Yeah, you are. Reserve. Enemy's not having it. Standing by. Let's move you around like that. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. It's a commando with a bunch of clan tech all over it. Do I really want to be putting up with this? I know that uh, this um, this reinforcement wave is a main objective. Commander. Move order received. But am I actually able to put up with the kind of incoming fire that they'd be dishing out? Enemy vehicle is uh, taking shots at us, or light mech, although I suspect it's a vehicle. We have vigilance. Okay. So, a Jenner with a bunch of streak SRMs, and a commando with a bunch of SRMs. Like, this is hell. I'm here. No, I'm calling it here. We're withdrawing. It's not worth it. Okay. Fortunately, um, 
despite the fact that uh, we're pulling out of this mission only halfway. Uh, let me try to rephrase that. Despite the fact that we're only... We're withdrawing after only having completed half the mission. It is still a good faith withdrawal, so we will get paid for it, given that we've completed one of the two main objectives. Retreat initiated. Yeah, I don't think we would have been able to handle that. Unfortunately, they're not paying us out the full amount. In fact, far less than I would have wanted them to. Sort of begs the question what they consider uh, capturing to mean, but okay. No matter. We come out of that mission with some minor damage to our hull. No salvage assigned, but at least it's not going to be a horrendous repair job. Okay. Uh, just a quick repair job. Onto the Pirate's Bane. Cool. It's already complete. And, uh... Let's look at some more of this nonsense. Are we going to be dealing with any more clan enemy units? Because if so, we might very well want to, uh... just bug out of this system. Um... Okay. I'm trying to figure out if there's anywhere here I can look. Okay, it's correct now. Star map. Star map is where we'll find out if there is a massive clan presence here. Former Star League presence. That much I had read when I was scanning this before. And yeah, it doesn't tell us anything about much clan nonsense, so... Is it just... On a mission by mission basis. Okay, let's check this out. Directorate units. Lyran Commonwealth. A Clan Wolf dropship. So, okay. This is going to be a mission where we deal with Clan Max. And a Clan Supply Convoy. Wait, hold on. No, we're working for the Lyran Commonwealth in all these cases. Um, directorate units, and this was... Fire Mandrill, I think, is another one of the clans. So, clan mission, clan mission, clan mission non-clan mission. Okay. Fortunately, this one's only a single lance we have to deal with. It's only a single lance. We have the possibility for salvaging a bunch of clan tech. Do we take this mission? We're in dire need of money because we're sort of hemorrhaging it. And after <laughs> the lack of a payout for last mission, we sort of need to take this one. But that'll be a fa an affair for another episode. Unfortunately, this one was a bit of a waste of time for us, but, uh, well, we'll make up for it next time around. So with that having been said, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription, heck, leave a dislike even, because uh, we failed that mission, if you should feel so inclined. And uh, I'll be seeing you on the battlefield. Have a good day.